In this drill, we're going to try to emphasize our release and then working against a press defensive back. And there's some elements that we want to, want to encourage. We want to go back to the concept of attacking half the defender, using good body lean, and then as we defeat the defender, we want, to re, we want to retrace to where we saw him last. If he's in position, we'll try to touch his opposite shoulder from where we're running to give him a false key. And then the last of the components is to stick the route and run it. So uh, let's see if we can demonstrate that on a hook route. So we're in a, an oppressed defensive situation here. So hands are up, we're in a good body position, good body lean, and we're gonna attack the defender. Right there. Okay. You saw some of the components there of the defender. He had good body lean. He attacked half the defender. He retraced to where he saw the defender last. He had a slight opportunity to touch the defender on the opposite shoulder where he was going. Okay, that was on an inside cut. All right, now let's look at an outside cut. We're gonna attack the outside half of that defender and then use basically the same techniques of, of uh, retracing to where we saw him last. If we have the opportunity to touch shoulder, right, and then sticking the route. So let's go with a 12 yard out. Okay. Good body lean right there. Sticks the route, gives him a false read, and he's able to, to move him over. So let's review those points. One good stance, you want your body over your, body over your knees in good lean position. Use your hands, use the rip or swim move. You want to retrace to where you saw the defensive back last and then you want to touch on opposite shoulder if the opportunity presents itself, and then finally stick the route, whether it be an out cut or an in cut. That's what's critical in, in separating from a defensive back.